Hello, I am very ashamed of what I have done. I am sorry for any inconvenience I have caused and I am looking to make it up to you. I love 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 you. Hey guys, welcome to the Sub Show. Um, it's been about two days since our last podcast. Yeah, usually we wait like years. This time it's been about, yeah, you know, this two time, days. We are really on top of the ball game this time. We are, uh, Yeah. So, we, we did record a big Christmas bash, like, a year ago. Um, it was really big. It was. Couldn't really, a little too uh, big, if you It was that big. Want. I, a lot of it was on me. I didn't do jack shit. And then, um... Yeah, then I lost a bunch of shit. Now it's imp- kind of maybe impossible. I don't know. I'll try to put stuff out for it later. But for now, let's focus on the future because we got some announcements yeah, in the top future. of the show. But first of all, right. we're streaming this stuff now. So yeah. if you subscribe to FWSX on YouTube, you can watch this shit live. And with video, we have the wheel down below. And in inauguration of this video stuff, I'm going to give the, the people watching something that they can't see if they're in the audio format. I brought a prop. You can't see it, you guys. You and Ty and Ethan, but I have a banana on screen right now. Probably not going to use it. this ever, but I figure I know because there's a delay. Oh, okay. With the ma- movie magic, Ty, <gasps> soon there will be a banana on a screen banana. coming to you. You do. I'm not going to. I brush my teeth. I'm not going to eat this banana, but, you know, it's a prop. I figure may as well make the most of this whole video thing, right? By the way, uh, we we did fly Ty out today, as you can see by Chemicals video and Ty's video, that, uh, that yeah, they are um, in the same room. Yeah, we were in the same yep. room. It's flipped around, yep. and when we the reason why the Skype logo is on Ty's corner is because you know that's how we're getting the two cameras set up here. But it, we're, it's all you know. It's just all fun we're in the same and room. games. Yeah, Dude, man. What's and, up? Why uh, is Ethan's, it, why is it Ethan's in the studio too, but we didn't and have and three cameras. Ties. What a stupid question. Yeah, it is because it's nighttime where I'm at as well. Yeah, like, I don't just... idiot. Why are you asking that? Yeah. So we have some updates. Here. We're. I'm just not we're gonna gonna be doing the camera. We're gonna be doing some stuff uh, soon, Ethan. What are we? What are we doing? Well, uh, you want to talk about what we're doing this summer, or projects, or what do you want? Which one do you want to start with? Oh well, I mean, there's a there's a big elephant in the room. You guys something take that the we're lead. Like doing, well, doing. We did fly time out. Yes, we already established yeah. that. Yeah, but um, there's an event that we're going to in yeah. like 20 days. Ah, we, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, there's a there's this big event uh, called a small event. There's actually. a big event. There's a, no, it's there's a big vent we're going to call Can we spell it out? <laughs> yeah, it, it's we're gonna be five by it five. We say it. It's about 20 meters long, Can and we we're going to be crawling it through I it. I don't think there's any way to not spell it out. Right, Rutix. So, hold on. Rutix. Wait. There we go. That's an R5 I've ever seen one. That's okay, this is going to be really annoying, because this is mainly an audio an thing. I don't want to be doing too many visual shit, because most of the people do listen through audio. That's yeah. That is that's, just, that's all. That is just you crossing your arms. Ty, Ty doesn't get letters, evidently. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, so we're going does anyone RTX. want to actually say it? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 event. We're gonna be doing a bunch of shit there. All right. So be basically, RTX is coming up at the end of this shit. month. This is kind of our pre-podcast before RTX, and then uh, we will be going. It'll be Ty, uh, Chemical, me, and Isaiah. Uh, we're all going. The great Isaiah, Isaiah from the great Isaiah. Is, yeah. yeah. So. If any yeah, of you are fans shit, of him, we're gonna you know, he's going to be there. Be... We're going to be recording probably videos while we're out there. Yeah, uh, we were, we, we are, now we are going to do a sub exiled show there, but there is unfortunately a problem in which we're going to have to use Skype. We're going to have to Skype everyone in. Even It's just not going to work out, right? Yeah, Ethan? yeah. Yeah, I don't believe I figured, that. You know, we, we tried so hard to get we, we tried so hard to get everyone in the same room for every episode, but just I really that, don't that believe that. It's not going to work out for the RTX one. <laughs> Now, in case anyone actually cares about this, if you get in one day early, me, Ethan, and Ty are doing something else. Ethan, what are we yeah. doing? Uh, Thursday, what, we doing? We're, what is that, the 29th when we're getting in? Yeah, the, t- the 29th. Right, we're, we're getting in the 29th, uh, and Thursday night we're not really going to be doing anything except for checking in the hotel, except for uh, Thursday night, uh, Chemical and I, and possibly Ty will be we're gonna try i don't know if definitely we're all well we haven't this. signed up you have to sign up a week before you, you have do. to um we're gonna be doing a week before to yeah, do this to stuff but yeah there's not a guarantee you'll be on they pick randomly but uh we'll be doing stand-up uh stand-up at comedy the, at the velveta is. room at nine o'clock so wait and yeah uh, can't really practice it in the car kind of... so like 
how big can the stand-up comedy be? Like three people seven on feet. stage oh, or two? Uh, yeah, seven feet. <laughs> yeah, um, you can be a giant and you can get on stage. I mean, the ceiling's it's, probably like ten feet tall. No, I mean, you have to be this tall. Well, to be yeah, mean, this tall to do stand-up. Are you and Ethan going to be on at the same time? No, no. no. It's individually. So it's, yeah. It's an open mic shit. Like, it's not going to be huge, but if you do get in the day before... Yeah, if you, you happen to be do, there and nine happen o'clock to on Thursday, two check out the Velveeta Room. Three funny g- you can meet us all there. We'll probably all be there, but you can come yeah. watch us bomb on stage. Oh, no, it's going to be horrible. How do I sign it's gonna up? It's going to be absolutely horrible. Uh, when we do it, we'll tell you we're, about We're going to contact them. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. we'll, 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 that, 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 we'll figure that, all that out later, man. We'll, yeah, because you can't... I mean, actually, we already yeah, know how to do it. I've contacted... I've con I've contacted the um the manager there. I've contacted the manager at a few comedy clubs in in Austin and this was Oh yeah, we'll be that, at uh, the Velveeta Room by the way in Austin, I, I Texas. I said that. Nice. Oh, did you? I Velveeta Room, that. Austin, Texas. All right. Nine o'clock DeGiorno's. Thursday night. Uh, twenty ninth. At DeGiorno's. Yeah, are we getting dinner before that or after? Um, we should probably get something before that before. a little bit just to be safe because I'm not before. sure how long that night's gonna go and That's I feel like it's true. kind of disrespectful. Kind of Depends like, if we listen to some people. Do three minutes each and, like, and then the just like leave, you know? Good. Or it could be terrible. We don't know. I mean, we Maybe might just Isaiah be able to leave do after, like if we go up because we'll be Isaiah's on first. Isaiah's not gonna go up. Isaiah's not gonna. He's already like back the fuck out of that one. Yeah. He's... But yeah, we're gonna be. We're going to be doing this show, we're going to be performing on stage on Thursday, and then we might be shooting a few videos, and that's about that's about it. I mean, how long does, like, obviously. one of these, if you, if you do go up and do, uh, the comedy bit, how long can it be, or, uh, we'll it's get three, about three minutes, three you minutes. get three minutes, you get three minutes. Can it be less? Yeah. Uh, no. have, it's three it minutes. I mean, you could be a little bit less. You, when once you get to two minutes, they'll put a light on. And you have to wrap it up then. So it yeah, can be like so two and be, a half. You can be the two of, minute range. Like, you can't be like one minute though. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do two three minutes. Yeah, there there will be like there will be some people doing like four minute and five minute sets, but basically well, from what I understand, on. their open mic stuff they works. They have they start with less experienced comedians first who have shorter amounts of time, mm-hmm. and then the more experienced comedians go up after, and they oh, get like sense. extra yeah. time. Yeah. By the way, I do see that there are people in the chat. We're not going to be paying attention to the chat until later in the show, so... There is? Just oh, wow, there, out is. there. Ty, Ty is probably reading them, but, man... I just noticed yeah, because Yeah, we didn't really do too, too good of a job at advertising this. It's probably yeah, we can probably do an in-between one, segment but... uh, for, like, comments just in between. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we've got a little bit more people in here. So Anyways, so that was that was pretty much it for the update. I kind of wanted... That was eight minutes of an update before the That's show. That's not bad. You know... Oh, it's amazing, Ty. It's the greatest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. What do you mean, it's not bad? Of course... I mean, I've seen better updates. For an update, but, uh, it, it yeah. could have been worse. Yeah, oh, I, oh, I've seen much better updates. It could have been one of those yeah. videos that goes on for 20 minutes just to say, Oh, I'm uh, eating a burrito instead of a taco. No, it's a banana. Oh, Pay it's attention. a banana. Anyways. It's yeah. banana. Yeah, it's a banana. Um, so, Ethan... <sighs> It's been two days, so I'm not sure if, if we should do an annual song, because you know, it's only been, been two days. Hasn't, this is the one time it might actually... Uh, yeah. yeah. It hasn't, hasn't been a year, unfortunately. Yeah. I uh, mean, we could if we want to, but it hasn't... It wouldn't be right. Ethan, should we do... Should we... I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I think we got it. All right. I'll get I'll get instrumental. Chemical, you get something else. Ty, you, you got vocals. You get instrumental. Oh. What? What? Do, 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 do. Wait, is, <gasps> is this about the podcast? Yep. Okay. Welcome everybody to the podcast, the greatest podcast in the entire world. You got Ty on the vocals, you got Ethan doing the beats, you got Chemical doing whatever the fuck he does. It's Ethan, it's Chemical, it's Ty. It's the Sump Exiled on FWSX podcast. Motherfucker, air horn. Oh. There might be, there may or may not be an air horn at the end of that. I don't know. There probably wasn't. It probably wasn't. So, are we diving right on the topics? Yeah, are we gonna just, uh, spin that wheel? Spin. Oh Ooh, my! I For see the, the, the first time in like half a year. We're gonna spin that wheel now. In the live stream, you're not gonna get the, the sound effect here, but oh, I gotcha. in the post production yeah. thing, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the wheel. All right, three, two, one, spin that wheel. <laughs>
we got... Okay, here's my topic. Where do trees go when they die? What? Where do trees go when they die? Is that really a question? That is my question. Where do trees go when they die? Paper... Schools... Ethan, banks. you're gonna take this. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a... Uh... Yeah, uh, uh -huh. yeah wherever paper lives. Wherever paper lives? Listen, listen. I know where their bodies go. I know where human bodies go when they die. I'm talking about their soul, baby. Like the Cut down a tree. tree, where do they go? <laughs> do they go into heaven? That'd be real fucking crowded heaven if all plants are in there, right? Fucking grass dies every two seconds. Gonna be filling up with grass and trees. It's not fair. Where do trees go? Is there a tree hell? Alright. Or do all trees go to hell? Because they'd burn and they'd create a lot of free right. space. Chemical. I'm gonna lay down some facts for you. Now, either you take it or you don't. It's up to you. But here's the facts. When a tree dies, it's clear that at a point there's too many trees, too many shrubs, too many bushes in heaven or hell. Doesn't matter. So what they do instead, they take the soul and just put, shove it down a wood chipper. So I I. I feel like that's not how souls work. I feel like you're circumventing the question here. I mean, to be fair, I'm no scientist. I don't know. I haven't studied how souls worked at all. But I have a hard time believing you just throw them in a wood chipper and it's okay. Now, you have to hear me out. So, once the souls put in into a, a wood chipper, it becomes material so that they can use it for building new houses, new hotels, maybe new swimming pools in hell, heaven, doesn't matter, purgatory maybe even, so that when new souls come to inhabit the space, they got a living house to talk to, to relate to, to communicate to. Ty, what the fuck are you talking about? I really I don't know. The wrong tree Ty, here. This is just shit. really a stupid <laughs> question. No. Ethan, do you have any, any better things about where trees go when they die? When they die? I've, oh, yeah, I've been here just trying, trying to think of tree puns, and I, I have not been... I have not been... I haven't found well, you've, one you've been barking the up answer. the wrong tree. I had that one, but, you know, I... Yeah. Well, wood are you gonna do? What would you just say to me? Is that... <laughs> wood are you gonna do? I give chemical Fuck us over, everybody. <laughs> Good job. No, I'm sorry. We tried up. to set ourselves like to a higher standard We're like 13 minutes in. We got like an hour the, left. The Simon's Isle show. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go I can't believe no one's going to come out to watch us do stand What are you going to do? Up. And I'm going to hold up a fucking tree. <laughs> yeah, well, by, uh, just a quick... Um, I know we're past the update, but that still is a chance that might not happen, depending on who gets put on the list. Just an FYI. It, more um, than likely, one of us will be doing it. Um, oh, more than likely. What if it's me? though. Out of all people. It'd be really funny if it was just you. If it was just Ty. I will it'd be fucking give me great. all your material. Give me all of your humor. Just infuse it into my brain. Ty, you're gonna sound like a fucking Nazi. Like, just drill a hole into my brain. Take your humor. Alright, this is Ty's topic. Ty, Ty, your topic is too many Jews. No, that's not true. What? Ty, the other day, he called me on the phone, and he was like, listen, I figured it out, I figured it out. Um, at the Zyklon B they used in the gas chambers, it just wouldn't have worked, it would have killed too many German soldiers as well. And I was like, Ty, this is very anti-Semitic, you're denying the Holocaust right now. And he just kept going on, going on, he said something about the shadows of, like, the buildings and stuff like that from the picture that they can play. And he was like, the Holocaust didn't happen, the Holocaust didn't happen, and I was like, Ty, slow down. Okay. Excuse you, excuse you, Ty. I remember we were walking planes, on the street. It was just a lovely afternoon. I, a Jewish say, man I accept big every big one of them as fact. It first. Ethan. Those were your words, Ty. That, no, it wasn't you then. It was Isaiah. The other day, I was eating in man. my local coffee shop. And all of a sudden, Isaiah comes in. And he uses, like, a little watch, and he tells me to look at it. And as I'm watching that watch... Hey, Jews, hey, Jews, hey, Jews. Th yeah, that's basically like, what he did. I fucking hate those Jews. And then all of a sudden, here I am today. I cannot deny those claims. I'm the Jew hater you see before you. Because yeah. Because they were drilled into my head. Okay. So are we done with this one? Do you want to do an in-between thing, or do you want to... 
Uh, you want to read some comments? See if there's anything really there. An there's, only, there's, only, there's, only, there's only been two comments. There's yeah. two people watching. This is an outrage. I was when it first started, and then Infamous Films 100 says, hello. And I say hi. Need What's more up, people man? in here. Next time, next time, we need to do a better job at promoting this shit. All right. Uh, if, if there well, happens to be any questions or like something, Ty, are you, are you looking started. at the chat? I'm looking I'm at watching it, too. All right. I'm well, if you, catch, if you catch an actual question and we come between a topic... Uh, just let me know. Yeah. Now, we'll... did you want to do one of the actual between things, or did you want to move on? Okay, so no, 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 we want no. to, let's spin that wheel. Okay. Wait, no, I'm the only one that gets to do this, remember? It's the rules. Ethan, I hope you're not wearing sunglasses inside either. Oh, he says, hey, neat. Anyways, Ethan, hope you're not wearing sunglasses inside, because you can kicked off, remember? Phoenix comes takes me place. I'm not. Okay. S spin. Spin the wheel. really branch out. That was my really late pun. Improv scene number two. That was one of mine, so which one's the improv? Oh, I deleted the thing. Hold on, let me quickly set this up right here. Uh-oh. A little bit of... Did not mean to do this. No, you certainly did. Okay. Okay, there is... Spinning. Oh, wait, whoa, it was planned the entire time. Okay. Whoa. Hold on, this is not mine. A, not a second of Shut this up. is not Shut planned. up, shut up. I am working. Anyways, you are one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. All right, who's Jeff Dunham? What do you What do you look like, and what's your character, and he what does Jeff Dunham make you do? Comedian All right, hold on. Does. I need to look this he's up. He's a ventriloquist. How do you, you look not look Jeff He's a ventriloquist. Jeff? He makes puppets. Dunham. Some of which are offensive, some of which are dumb. Oh, that guy. A lot of which are dumb. Yeah, that dumb. guy, the puppet dude. Yeah, they're all pretty dumb. Uh, not to sh shout, not to fucking throw shade at Jeff Dunham, but like, you're one of his puppets. What do you, what do you, what do you do? How do you act? All right, so how do you behave? What does his uh, what does shows Jeffy normally Boy make go you for? Do? Are they like adult comedy, or like are they child that parties? Like children's parties. He does not do child parties. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure children enjoy him to an extent, but for the most part, he like. I, I don't fucking. I don't. Ethan, how would you explain Jeff Dunham to Ty, a Jeff <clears> Dunham <throat> virgin? I think he's a comedian Ooh, everyone likes before chat, anyone knows what any other comedian right, is. Ty, wait, wait, yeah, wait for this topic to be done. Yeah. Then I'll answer all the questions. That's a really. So, I like that. I think. I think he's a comedian that everybody likes before they like any other comedians. Um. So like Cam Peel, they're like the Slipknot of fucking. Yeah, comedy. here, here's here's Jeff Dunham. He, I, is it? I don't want to say it's not. Funny he makes puppets it's not, that are silly. Yeah, they some of which are very he adult. Does, some he of which are different character in his shows, I and he has them. like a gimmick, which is the puppets. Uh, he's really not that great of a. You're really avoiding. Quest. You're really avoiding the question of. You are one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. Uh, I'm, uh, okay, I'm so waiting for my Ethan. puppet. All right, so my puppet will be, and I think this fits into a Jeff Dunham show really well. Uh, I'm, uh, my character, my puppet will be uh, called Woody. Oh my and, god! Uh, and he would be made of, out of wood, which would be kind of funny. But the biggest thing he does is he always he always has it's a the most hilarious on stage. Part. Now, what, what is he making you do? So, so you made of wood. <laughs> what isn't he you making have a me do? Massive erection. Dude, he's got my hand. He's got his hand up my ass already. I mean, no wonder I got a fucking erection. Um, I think my, f I, th I think my favorite puppet from Jeff Dunham is the fucking pickle on a stick. It's like the worst puppet out of all of them, but it, that one actually. Oh, it's jalapeno on a stick. It's jalapeno, is what? whatever. The jalapeno <laughs> on a just, stick. It's not even funny. It's, it's just it's really not stupid. Even, it's but it like, makes like me it's laugh. like what the Jim, it's like what Jim Gaffigan does with his hot pocket thing, where he doesn't even say a joke. He just says something funny, and for some reason it's and kind of funny. And then he throws it on a stick, and then jalapeno people go, ah. on a stick, and then he has a whole fucking theater full of people just laughing at him. I mean, it works. I think it's kind of funny, but still. Before, it's weird, man. Before I do mine, I, I want to. Fuck you! Before you do yours, I'll do mine. Okay. I'll be Banana Boy. Come out as a banana, and he'd walk out, and he'd eat me in front of everyone. Done. Okay. Uh, no comments Probably on that. That actually good. sounds really velvet. awesome. Do you think you do you think you peel out at the end of the show? <laughs> Would you slip, <laughs> slip on up? yourself? <laughs> Do you, think can, the do you think he can make the stupid fucking joke? The audience the pull off him. What? Oh, I don't get that it. That one was bad. Like potassiums oh. and fucking bananas. Ah, oh, fuck you! It's, it's dumb. Yeah, it was really it's, dumb. Props. It's really reaching. It's really dumb. <laughs> it's really, re really reaching, huh? <sighs> really reaching. Kind of. Uh, I should have planteen that one better. Yeah, Ty. What would All you right, be? Before I say mine, I want to say there's two comments 
I mean, two questions <laughs> in the chat, and they're both really good. So, well, I, we're gonna get well, to that yeah, after. I just wanted to say so we don't uh, miss they out relate, on them. Do so, they relate yeah. to this? Because if they don't, then yeah. no, yeah. they don't. All right, then we'll go for. Then we'll wait till later. All right, so mine would have to be. Um. All right, I want you to imagine the most perfect, pure, and innocent little child. Where the fuck is this going? And then he's gonna show up at kids' parties. Is he gonna Jeff Dunham himself gonna walk out naked no, on stage? No, 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 no. Quite the opposite. Jeff Dunham is going to talk mean? about. The kid being molested. How is that quite the opposite? <laughs> what are you talking about? So, is the kid the puppet? Yes. I think the kid's getting molested by Jeff Dunham. Yeah, I think this is- <laughs> wait, is this an actual kid or is this a puppet? This is Jeff Dunham molesting <laughs> a kid a little, in front of- It's a little bit of both. Of kids. Jeff Dunham walking on a stage <laughs> and then molesting some kid in front of like a theater full of people. It's like you they beating a woman too. at like a battered woman shelter Oh, oh, shit. do you know what he says? He He's inside the boy, right? And he's like, this is a little boy on a stick. <laughs> and the whole crowd goes, bananas. <laughs> And he's like, little boy I'm, on I'm his I'm still speak. trying to get over the, he's inside the little boy, <laughs> that fucking sentence. Well, I mean, I wanted to put it oh, eloquently. Oh, God. I don't want to be, God. I don't want to be crass here. iTunes are coming back strong. Yeah. They don't pay attention. We got, we got accepted to be we on be iTunes. We can be as racist as we want. I know. We got accepted We've to be on iTunes, and I was, reading their, I was reading their terms of service, and I was like, oh man, we're going to have a hard time getting picked up by iTunes. And then, like, uh, and then, like they got us, and I was like, oh, okay. And our very next episode was, like, how to fix Africa. It was a whole bit about African people or whatever. It was not... Pretty uh, sure I called Isaiah Monkey at least once or yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Isaiah <laughs> oh, yeah, called I something... <laughs> Mild, at least mildly racist at some point, and iTunes was like, "Yeah, whatever." Um. Anyway, so is, is this part done, or should we read some of these questions? Kind of want to read some uh, of these are questions. We, are we done? All right, yeah, I guess let's read the questions. Okay, I, mean, I talked about. Let's go in board. order here. Okay. The Fox says, "How did you guys actually meet each other, and what do you see each other? You, what do you see each other doing five years from now?" Question mark. And then there's something that didn't show up. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's start. You're let's start with just Chemical and I met. because yeah. we've actually met. All right, Chemical and I, I just uh, grew up together, kind of. In West Ty, Virginia. Ty, yeah. Uh, okay, we lived so together in West Virginia. We lived together. Yeah, we lived together in West old. Virginia around oh, third God. or fourth, third grade. You know, we, we, I remember we got, like, put in the same class around, like, the fourth grade. We were put in the same class in the fourth grade, then. but our parents knew each other. Yeah, we met each other at, like, a gym. My mom trained his mom. Uh, How to do what? <laughs> I don't think I've even heard of this. Go yeah, on. No. no, my mom was a personal trainer for a little while, Gold's Gym, and his mom was uh, there. And so she was a trainer, so they became friends. And then we met several times, but then we were in class together around fourth grade. Uh, we made a, we made a, and a so, big mess. Which my, my our parents trouble. were really excited about. Um, more excited than us. Uh, and then and we, basic, that, that eventually switched around on them, huh? Yeah. So we, we, we hung out a lot in school and outside of school. And then one, I moved. I don't. I think I moved first, but then you moved soon after. I've yeah, moved, you I've got moved to a shit ton. In my, yeah, you I, got I, to I did like school. one year I didn't get to middle school. school. I moved before then to Virginia, but we still hung out over Xbox. And Chemical uh, moved to Maryland, and then <clears throat> so we we talked over Xbox for years. We've been hanging out since about fourth grade. This is um, hilarious. Uh, now, Ty, we met around the same time as Phoenix. Technically, yeah. should we go? Should we go into Ty's demo tapes that he sent into us? Can we? Oh, okay, fine. If you're willing to do it, we're working on a, a, a series called Hail Night Live. It's very funny. It was the best thing we've ever done. Uh, go on YouTube and look it up if you want to kill yourself. I haven't heard of this. Um, I don't remember the demo type. Yeah, so. and so we were recruiting people to help yeah, but us do it in time. He didn't recruit for Hail Night Live. He did because I went on Hazardous's, uh, which is another mission of a thing. I went on there and asked for a story. I got Ty, Splatter, and Phoenix. 
and Armadillo. No one knows who Splatter yeah. is that's watching yeah. this. Uh, and so we got them. Uh, but Ty, but Ty actually sent us demo for tapes. Sub Exiled. He sent us his Halo Lego stop motion oh, videos, no. which, which were, if you don't know, the some of the funny. I, I, we should, we should. Next time you're on Ty, when we're in Austin, actually, we should probably play a few clips of it on one of his shows just to we like, can. fucking show people. I have them. Well, they're, they're on YouTube. Because I think go ahead. I think I think some of them are funny as shit. They're so. terrible. Go ahead. They're. Oh yeah, no, not in a good lie. way. It's like so bad I'm they're good. Lie. Like we, we in the so bad they're it. good category. No, I don't. Yeah, I remember Ethan was like, look you're at this guy who was even us at the time. He was like, look at this guy like sending us this shit. I don't know. Should we move on to the next one, or should we continue talking about this? Uh, well, so basically, we met through that. He helped us on Halo mm -hmm. Night Live, I think, 3. And then, basically, uh, Chemical, uh, Ty, and Phoenix, and I have all been working on Machinimas together and YouTube together since and then. Other stuff. And then should we, we include just Isaiah? become friends in the process. Like how we met Isaiah? I mean, we, we met Isaiah through YouTube as well. We Ooh. met Isaiah because we were running the Machinima Union channel, and we had it. We Wait. had to interview him, and then eventually. I want to add something remember... about that. Yeah. Okay, so back on Machinima Union, when uh, we were running the weeklies, uh, for some reason. I don't want this to be. This is not that funny. I didn't, we need to get through this as fast as possible. What? We'll for some reason, comedy gold. Uh, you put me as host. Fucking start gold. Which with this I comedy. didn't understand. I thought it'd be like Chemical or Ethan would be more qualified. It's because you were the one. You were the one that was put in charge of the thing. Fair enough. It wasn't but I would have highly yeah, recommended you. you guys over me. Still do. They freaking hated us. But, alright, so, at one point, uh, we wanted to get Pickle Man onto, uh, Machinima Union, uh, one of the podcasts, and talk to him about, uh, his, uh, series, Agent Peanut Butter. Was that? Something like that, because it was actually kind of funny. Yeah, and we... The only funny thing he's ever done. Well, yeah. But still. And we love to watch it. So... Either me or you, or maybe even Chemical, we invited the wrong person. We invited Isaiah to come onto the show instead of Wait, Pickle was Man. it the wrong person? Yeah, I don't remember this at all. I don't remember I this rem at all either. I remember the only reason we got into Because you told contact. me to go look up his videos, cause, which I did. <laughs> yeah. And what, that was the what only I do one remember, we though, all of what I do remember, though, is because we recorded, like, we recorded, like, an hour or two and got the lead, yeah, and we were like, hey, lead. Isaiah, want to stay in and do and that all over two again? Hours. Yeah, and he was like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so he did it. And then, that was when he was nice, because he, he didn't still us yet. Tight. He's literally the biggest piece of shit to you. Well, no, Okay. It's pretty funny though. It is pretty funny. Hey, shut up! He's the guy who's paying up front for a hotel room in like a month. Yeah, but um, that's true. I'd say there's two exactly. sides of that story, yourself. but uh, yeah, moving on. And anyways, you second question. Try to fucking do a bunch of collaboration shit after that, and we just ended up hanging Basically. out. Basically, cool dude. Anyways, quick, I get to this next question real quick because we're almost at the 30 minute mark, and I need to be we need to be funny, and we have a lot of topics. We to are funny. Da, 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 da. Ty, for the people, for the people that are redeemed all of it. Fucking Ty just shook his tits around. All he needs is Ty to wiggle a little bit and yeah. we're good to go. Ty, for the people that aren't watching, can you please can you please say something funny instead of fucking flailing around it's like a bumbling idiot? Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Wait. Oh, shit. That's not funny. I'm not going to... Alright. Question, <laughs> question for all of you. Which kind of machinima do you like? Normal machinima without visual effects or with visual effects? Without. Uh, if you do... Okay, Ty. I mean, like, I have a lot of visual effects in mine. It's cool. Like, I... Yeah, visual they're... effects are cool. I just, yeah, you know, like, I don't, comedy. You can, you can do it with or without. You you can, it can be good with or without. I really don't care what you have. Anyways, move on to the next topic. Uh, yeah. yeah okay. spend that oh, I like comedy. Excellent. And romance. And I, mystery. I think... I... There, there is no... Ty. <laughs> I like romance. Do you really get the romance Your life fucking, is a fucking mystery. There's only there's, I, I've never seen okay, one. Okay. I've never seen one ever. Uh You've seen Rise of the Spartans. I know this. I'm I'm spinning the wheel. I'm spinning there's the a wheel. Small part, like <laughs> each of, each of, there's a kind of romance between two of the characters. And I Ah, it's got this again. Hi, shut up. Shut up the <laughs> wheels talking. It's fine. Ty, here's one of your topics. Is it? Gym story. You have a gym story, apparently. I have a gym story. Ty, what is your gym story? This better be good. I don't want to be strung along for some bullshit. I have a banana here. Fucking... What's your gym story, okay, Ty? Okay, so... I was at the gym the other day. And, uh... 
so at the gym I work out for about an hour and so the first half hour is like on the treadmill second half hour is doing whatever uh, the fuck I want to do whatever machines are there fine eating so, cake punching people <laughs> whatever the fuck I want to do there's one active there's one equipment area where you can take a medicine ball which is like six ten pounds chuck it out a trampoline and you have to catch it as it comes back so it it's really easy Ethan could do it I'm chemical could do it well thanks Ty I love you Ty, love you too. Ty work out more than you go fuck yourself no that's why I said chemical Ethan I know you'll do it because you swim I, I hope chemical is capable of throwing six to ten pounds <laughs> Man, I, can, I don't think I can lift 6 to 10 pounds. So, there's this guy at my uh, old high school, and he's running in Hillsborough for, like, one of the, like, a poli political stance in uh, Hillsborough. He's running for one of the political stance in like, Hillsborough. No, I think so he's running for mayor, I think you're confused actually. what exercise is. And so running for office really and running shape. at the gym are two very different Shut things. Up. So, I, I dislike this guy for whatever reason. I think he's a shitty guy. I was going to kick and your ass now. I kind of felt uh, pissed about this and just seeing him casual. I don't know why. So, I'm taking the medicine ball, and I'm just chucking at it at the trampoline, when all of a sudden, I just split it in half. And you the medicine split ball, the, the trampoline. medicine ball in half? Yeah. What, what do you mean, uh-huh? The medicine ball or the trampoline? <laughs> the tra and you say, uh-huh. I split the medicine Absolutely. ball, like, <laughs> right in half. So, I took it. It basically fell apart, like... And I was like, shit. So I just put it back together, rushed it back onto the stands, and just left the area as quick as quickly as I could. And to this day, I don't know what happened afterwards. If they noted, found out or not. Ty, you didn't... Ty, did you not see? No, I... Ty, there's one or posters of you all around town. Oh. Yeah. Ethan knows, because he lives there now. There's no way you know that. Yeah, Ty, there I is. Know. I was, sent I was email. down at the I old saloon. An... Yeah, me and Ethan were hanging out at the old saloon. The old saloon? Um, listening to ragtime tunes and, and uh, <sighs> meandering the the gals. That <laughs> chick wow wow chick What, you know, what you do in saloons. And, um... And we saw a wanted poster. It says, "Man wanted, dead or alive." What the wanted know, poster said, all. "Man wanted." Can you believe it? I don't him? believe you. What? Ty, there's a five hundred dollar bounty out on you. Back back in these days, uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of money. Back, in, back old here <laughs> in 1864, there's a bounty on your heads. Ty, the medicine ball breaker hose me. I don't believe you. Oh, well, down here, you better not come down, down here in 1864. This guy says lots of cake at the gym. Guys, I right. think I might kill you and take that reward myself. Wait, how much is it? 500. Uh, I'd, w I'd wait. Which back in it. our times, Ty, put your camera back on. Which back in our times, though, in our times, $500, that's worth like five million dollars i don't know someone adjust that for inflation How does the math work for I think that you got it tie your cameras back off if you want to how did it turn off i don't know put it back on it is on um oh it's not on haha -ha. oh shit he made his escape i knew it back he's back in the future <laughs> that's the future anyways should we do an in-between thing or should we spin the wheel uh, let's do an actual in-between thing. Like I a, see the okay. emojis. They don't display anything, though. Whatever. Uh, it, uh, Ethan, pull up one of your in-between things. Looks like should a blob. Uh, you should probably do that, because I don't feel like doing that. Fucking A. I gotta go, do, go back on my phone. God damn. Ethan, you suck. Ethan, I mean, chemically, yeah. you can borrow my phone. Hashtag Ethan Su He sent it to me, not you. So you can use my phone. I will. Okay, thanks. I will take it and I will throw it at the screen. This is gonna work. The only one we can really do right now is the sentence game. This. Oh, we'll start with that. Ninja. Uh, it's a good game. Uh, I'm fucking flashing your shit. Do you guys want to do the story where we do the sentences or build sentences. off words? All right. <laughs> 
You, you want to go first, Ethan? Sure. So there I was hanging out <laughs> in the old saloon. When all of a sudden, Ty Ty Minutes and Ball Breaker Hosbino sauntered in with his finest Sunday dress. He looked around and found the most feminine looking hairy chested dog he had ever seen. <laughs> uh, he said, Y'all don't want to be getting rough with me. Then tackle the dog to the ground for no reason as onlookers gazed in confusion. In fact, it got so bad that one onlooker looked and said, Oh my god. One person got up and he said, Hey there, that's my dog, son. And he says, We're gonna duel at high noon. And Ty said, No thank you, as he left the saloon promptly to go back to his time because he realized what time he had gone to. The man rushed behind him, and before he could travel into time, he threw his dog and blew them to kingdom shit. <laughs> Guys aren't funny. I'm funny, I have a banana. What a, what a fucking story. Wait, did we just are, stop? Are we done with that? No. Do you want to do another? Yeah, sure, that one wasn't good. That was really bad. All right, Koku, you can start. You can start. Okay, fine, I will Please start. Please do. I will, anytime soon. Okay, so three unfunny people decided to do a show. This is bullshit. And there's... <laughs> three, three unfunny people are sitting in front of a, a camera doing, doing a show live. One of them said this was complete bullshit. <laughs> what a day in a saloon it was. <laughs> Then this one quit. He turned it off. He said, I'm sick of this. I don't need any more of your shit. I'm leaving, Mom. I'm leaving. The oldest and wisest one just looked in complete sadness oh and disarray. Couldn't believe in what he had just witnessed. Uh, the three heroes and their chimp sidekick, Isaiah, went off to go save the day. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's where I draw the goddamn line. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna listen to this at all. I might fucking just tell him. Like, you wanna know what Ethan said about you? <laughs> uh, fucking live on air. Fucking Don't love to do it. it. <laughs> should call him it's right now on it. his phone. We already like, have Ethan it. just called We're you a chimp. We already have it on recording for other things. Why not keep it going? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sure there's my ringtone and we're in the same hotel room. People call me. It's gonna get awkward. Should, should we do the one <sighs> with, like, one one word and it keeps going around in the circle yeah let's do, do one, one of, those. of those let's do one yeah. of those yeah uh you wanna go time priest r pretty did you say priest singular or plural uh plural okay so r yeah priests are pretty so tell you can ballistic Sometimes. But. You. Can. Not. Teach. Children. How. To. Read. Books. Glasses. <laughs> These. Walls are reading. No, no, I'm not gonna do this. Is not going well. <laughs> you just stopped what? it. This is your fault. You're, you're kidding. How can anyone? Yeah, how can I need high energy? God damn it! I. Everyone around here is being. Stagnant. We got we got a high energy when I here comes high energy, right? Hit me with hit me with the word. Electric. Bugaloo. Is. Fucking. Awesome. Possum. Robots. Thirty. Degrees. Below. 
Fahrenheit. My boxers are wet. I'm fucking done. <laughs> you guys don't. This place smells like bananas. Oh, come on. I, I don't have a fan on. I'm in a small Hi, room. Welcome to, uh, welcome to the Sub Exiled Show, starring Ty, Ethan, and Debbie Downer. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is episode 10. It's supposed to be great. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be. It's not, it's not supposed to be fucking giggling goblins. Fucking. Comedy fucking dragged out. Here. Dragged out uh, one word stories. <laughs> Want to hear something really funny? I broke my medicine ball in half the other day. <laughs> Jesus, goddamn Christ. <laughs> hey, listen, that one thing at the end was pretty funny. That was funny. <laughs> Ty, get up. We have a sh You're being very unprofessional. You can't do a show when you're lying on the ground away from your set. Oh god. Uh, I'm gonna spin the goddamn wheel. You better spin the goddamn wheel. Improv scene one. Tie zero. You have time traveled to the year 3021 and everyone has forgotten how to tie their shoes. How do you teach the world? How do I... Uh... Um, wait, can you say it again? I'm sorry, I need this. My god, Ty, you're not paying attention. I'm kind of off- Can't believe I pay you I'm for this. I'm kind of high off the la laughing fumes. Give me a break. Oh yeah, you are, aren't you? Yeah. The year, the year, is 3021. Okay, 3021. You've time traveled to the year 3021, uh -huh. and everyone has forgotten how to tie their shoes. How do you teach them? How do you teach the world? I I go forward in time another year and hope they learned how to tie their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, not not now. I gotta go to a time where people know how to do was... shit. <laughs> go going right fucking back. <laughs> oh god. Ty, don't get on the ground again. <laughs> That's much better than what I had. <laughs> Pengus. <laughs> Lace yourself Fuck in for this one, folks. Me. Yeah, I'll tell, tell that to my fucking face. Just call me a Pengus. <laughs> I'll have you know my father Someone was a Pengus. Someone com this now. Urban Dictionary. Oh, Isaiah's in here. Isaiah's in the chat. Isaiah's in the chat, but he's not here. No. You can call in if he wants, but I don't know. Kevin, how are you going to teach him to tie his shoes? How am I going to teach him to tie my shoes? Tie anyone's shoes. It doesn't matter whose shoes. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Do I have to teach the whole world or just one person? I, I figure you teach one person. It'll spread itself naturally. Uh, well, I figure, you know, who's who's the... um. I gotta, I gotta go for someone famous, right? I gotta go up and I gotta get to someone famous. Teach them how to tie their shoes because they have the best ability to spread it, right? Oprah Winfrey. No. Who's still alive? Going on stage the Oprah Winfrey show. I'm gonna buy to. <laughs> uh, you know. Do you really see Oprah dying though? Like, look at her. She's a god. I'd go with anyways, Francis Ford Coppola, I'd... 22. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Mm. Um. So, anyways, I'm gonna buy tickets to the Oprah Winfrey show, and when she's in the middle of talking about like, uh, fucking like child molesters in your neighborhood or whatever she's on about this it's week dark. i'm just gonna rush up on stage and just tie her shoes for her and they're like oh my god no one's done that fucking a thousand yeah. years legend told someone would come oh my it's like i pulled the sword out of the stone and now i'm king a great hero king of the entire entire everybody's shoes. King. anyways um ethan how are you gonna teach the world how to tie your shoe all right well We've done a lot of time traveling today, but now we're going in the future. And as we know, in the future, they're going to have space saloons. So, in a space saloon, every, listen, everything goes. I just realized Isaiah missed what happened earlier about him. But yeah, continue. Uh, in a space saloon, everything goes, alright? So, uh, 
because this is the distant future where, uh, the, as as we all remember, in the year two thousand two hundred and sixty four, uh, the the intergalactic in your history books, folks. space police banned shoe tying. All right, really tripped everyone up. So they finally got rid of that law, and then they realized, oh shit, how the fuck do we tie this stuff? So uh, yeah. can't walk around places anymore. Yeah, everyone's falling all over. Gotta go barefoot. We're not gonna go barefoot. There's gravel yeah. out there. Actually, you know, you know, fun fact. The reason why they did that law, why they made that a law, was because when enemy armies came to fight them, they just be tripping all over themselves and they they just lose all the wars. It's true. It was a it was a it was a perfect. It plan. was, and then they realized it was kind of a double and you edged know, sword. Do you want to know? Because how... they also had shoes. Until, as you know, in the year three thousand, the Galactic Empire created Velcro shoes. They did. <laughs> And they started winning wars real fast. They did. They also lit up, so that's where we'll get a night. And they had Heelys, too. <laughs> All right. I want to add... The a... coolest of footwear. I want to add another take to this question. Okay. All right. So, the best way to teach people how to tie their shoes is to put them in a life-threatening circumstance. That's what I'm gonna do with my kids. Put them in a life-threatening <laughs> circumstance. Throw my That's kids the best off in the middle of Compton and be like, "Tie your shoes and you can come home." I no, allow no, me no, to no, explain. Oh shit, so, that might work. They got them, shoes tied on like them. fucking telephone lines all over the place. So you <laughs> take in no time. You t- take a couple of suicidal uh, people, kids, adults, doesn't matter, and say the only way they can kill themselves is by tying themselves. <laughs> to a railroad so that they can get hit by a train <laughs> it's genius what the fuck are you talking about everyone, everyone's being all funny everyone's riffing off each other and Ty comes in and is like tie yourself to a railroad track hilarious it's genius genius yep um, it's amazing god I hope Ty is the only one of us that does stand up <laughs> hey, so I tied my shoes to a railroad face. track the other day. Yeah, man. That's the best I got. All right, are right, we moving on to the next topic? Uh, do we have any comments that we should read? Tom Wyndham. Tom Wyndham's in here. He's just said "lol" in a smiley face. Other than that, hey Tom Wyndham. Uh, we announced what Isaiah in say? Austin. I don't know if you missed that. Isaiah just said "beep boop." He fucking does that shit. Where's that from? That's I'm starting to think Isaiah, Isaiah is not really apparently. a human being. He has Isaiah bot. He sends that on the internet. Just a fucking, just like, be like, yeah, I'm here. Isaiah bot I, I saw 3, something. Yeah, spin the wheel. One of them Spinning is the wheel. Spin the <laughs> fucking wheel. So this whole baby in the gorilla pit is bananas, right? Ethan, you mind explain elaborating on this hilarious oh. bit you did right here? Oh, I. This whole I've heard of baby this. in the gorilla pit is bananas, right? Oh, look what I got too. Oh man, isn't that great? Banana, if you don't remember. I don't know, I don't know if you guys heard about this whole this. baby falling in the gorilla pit thing. That's pretty crazy, huh? Is that it? Is that all you got? <laughs> Listen, so baby, I don't actually know how old the kid was. I think it was like a toddler or some shit. Fucking bad mom dropped her fucking like kid in the fucking zoo exhibit, and there was a gorilla She was like, there. oh, take a picture, hold it over the fence, and, you know, slippery hands. You know, she was known as Slippery Hand Jenny. Um, I don't know how wild that happened, but apparently she was known for it. Drop the kid in, you know, whatever. Was I the only one that found that video funny? I found the video fucking hilarious. I kind of found it funny. Dragging the kid through the water. It was just, I don't know, it was comical. And that's something you see every day. You know, you see a gorilla just dragging babies through water. It's just not something you're expected to see. It was funny. It was absurd. It was out of the normal. Thought it was funny. I don't know. Even though some kid could have died and a gorilla died. Give a shit. Dude, I I just like, I I mean, like, uh, the whole gorilla killing. I just. Was the kid in danger, or was he just getting dragged around like a, by a fucking gorilla? I don't know, that's the, what the whole- people are debating it, man. People are like, oh, the gorilla's gonna kill to the kid. To be fair, I got like no, six different change.org was... fucking petitions about it today. Yeah, but So, the go fuck gorilla. themselves. Like, I don't care, like... I, honestly, they could have killed the gorilla or let the kid die, and I probably would have One had of which is like, give the- I, one of the change.org is just like, give the gorilla a proper funeral. I'm like, what the fuck? Get out of here. <laughs> Fucking, uh, I have a, I mean, it, put it in like a, a six by they six casket, do lower into the ground while other gorillas sit there and cry. 
I don't know, man. That's kind of harsh. A proper funeral. Like the, the kid, I don't know, man. The kid shows up to the With funeral. Animals, and, like, just the animals, he just throw them in the trash. to go them. kill him, and they gotta like hold her, hold her back. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Thanks, Ty. You're welcome, Ty. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Aces be whack, yo. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Great insight for me. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, I just I a lot of people were kind of like, I just I just looked at them and like, this is a super bad mom. Like, I don't know. I don't know. What if it was you? I'd be pissed at my mom. <laughs> but like, the kid wasn't old enough to like really like, like that's the thing. If the kid was like five or six or something, I'd be like, all right, well, you know, it, the, Wait, the mom should have been watching kid? better. The but kid, kid kind of deserved it. The kid could have easily done it, but like when you're like a toddler, I'm like, that's just a really, that's just bad parenting on your part. You should, you should have the insight to not let your kid fall into the fucking. What if it's exhibits. a twelve-year-old kid who falls? I don't think it's no, better. Twenty-four-year-old kid. Okay, so what if it's so what if it's like a thirty-year-old man who falls in with a <laughs> shotgun and blows the gorilla away in the head? Is it justified then? Uh, this is like a shoots in. I mean, it's gonna get me. It is self-defense, though. I don't think it's self-defense and you fall into the fucking pit. <laughs> with, with, like. Is it self-defense if I hop over the fence and stab the gorilla 47 <laughs> times with a knife, blow its head off with a shotgun, and when the police come, I have a big standoff with them, too? That's like being like, that's like Ouch. breaking into someone's house, and when they go to stop you, you just fucking shoot them with self-defense. Come on, man. I'm all for self-defense and all. What if your friend pushes you, you into the gorilla pit? You do a backflip, the, the and you fall on a t tree branch. You use the tree branch Everybody applauds, to spring up really from cool. the ground to spring back into the pit and then push your friend in, which your friend then takes a soup can opener. And he, he just, just climbs He's going to the, the zoo with soup can <laughs> openers in his pocket. <laughs> Who is this dude? And he just climbs the God wall damn. back to freedom. Oh, and the gorilla has a hard attack after super, watching all this. You know, you don't get to talk. You don't get to talk. What if a guy is doing a real super cool skateboard trick over the gorilla pit and he misses and he lands? Yeah, that'd be uh, crazy. Good for him, I guess. Are we doing a life advice with Ty? Uh, we will. How many how many topics do we have left? I guess is a better question. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I have two okay, questions. Cool. I have at least two. I know that. I am tired. Um, I mean, I, yeah, we have yeah, a yeah, couple yeah. questions from the chat. Do we? Do, are we, we have done two with the questions. They're all about like machinimas, though, and I kind of want to like. I mean, I, I I don't mind taking questions and all, but I wish like they were all about machinima. It's, what is your favorite Halo machinima director? Let's just answer that one because this guy asks who's inspired the machinima director. Yeah, me. I'm my favorite. I'm pretty good. I don't know, Lyle McDouche. Yeah, Lyle, I'd answer. probably go with Lyle as well. Ty, you, you give one answer and then we're moving on. On favorite director? Um. Um. You said besides Red vs. Blue, so. Um, my favorite director. I have to go with someone who keeps his, uh, uh, videos. Constant, for the most part. Uh, really, the only director I can think of, Isaiah. Great Isaiah, Tyler's favorite machinima director. Is I, the great I, Isaiah. I have to go with it. I mean, I hope Isaiah just says you go fuck yourself. I mean, Black Plasma Studios, they were good, but they only did like, uh, they only made really one big oh, machinima. Oh, Tom just said But the great that was Isaiah. it. Hazard Disc was good for a while, but then they just stopped completely. Same with uh, Mr. Peanut Butter. There's the whole nightmare okay. f thing. Um, <laughs> nightmare <laughs> films, but it's weird the way he said it. He's going through uh, all of them. Yeah, he's I'm like, I just want to get to this really machinima. quick, and Ty just starts like machinima, lift, we're listing off. All right, yeah, all right. yeah, yeah and Ty just starts listing off like machinima. It's going on about like, fuck it. I'm Isaiah moving, and uh, Royal Crimson Films. I'm spinning the wheel. Cool. I don't want this to be the machine on my podcast. I want to fucking something that's on iTunes, motherfucker. Hey, I this inspired me to make machine mods. Okay, cool. I will say that. I already done this one. Well, part of you it. didn't say inspired. You said favorite. God damn it! This is, gonna, this is where it gets weird. This Hi, is where we me. have the, like the buffering period. No. What? No. Excuse. I. 
Actually, no, I will count you. You inspired me to make Mushima. You and Chemical hey. and Phoenix. Ooh. And probably Amethyst thing guy, if I remember his name. Amadisa? Amadis thing guy got to me. Yeah. Alright, this is Ethan's topic. Got me How's everyone's right day been? Hey guys, we don't like get to like, punch you know, my we don't get to, you, you know, we like to tell a lot of jokes here. We get to, we're, we're usually 80. Apparently not. <laughs> we tell a lot of jokes here. We like to Apparently talk we like to sit around like and, to, yeah, and just like to fool list around. off a bunch of stupid machinimas. I don't think we ever get to get serious that... once in a while. Uh, so, so I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna get serious right now. I just wanna ask, you know, how's everyone's days been? Well, I, um, if you, if you really must know, I, I've been having, Ty, shut the fuck up, I've been, I woke up, and I've, I, I've had this horrible backache all day, and I went downstairs, and I actually found out that, I mean, I don't know I didn't tell you any of this, but one of my pets died, and so, you know, I've been, you know, I've been kind of dealing with that, and, um, you know, so I haven't really eaten anything today, and just kidding, I got a banana, and I've been having a good day, thinking about trying to do all this stuff, Ty, how was your day? It's been a great day. It's been great. I mean, I but I bet f hundreds of gorillas have died today, and I've been laughing right now. Probably. It's been at least a hundred gorilla funerals today. At least a hundred gorillas have died today, and I'm sitting here with a banana, fucking the seven people right now. I'm Ty. sitting here with a quarter. Ty, how was your day? Uh, my day was fine. I got to work at six hours. Would have preferred eight, but whatever. And I got to eat ice cream and come on the show. Wish I could have worked harder, honestly. Wish I could have been a Give better about 100%. Employee, you know, should have gone for 110. Wish, no, see, wish I could have worked longer hours for less. Is, you know, you're only allowed like to work 32 hours a week if you're part-time. Why would you... Okay. And, I mean, you can't do full-time because that means full benefits and, like, health care and all that stuff. Who the fuck wants that? No, you can't. Yeah, pretty gay. <laughs> Healthcare's gay. Fuck Obama. Damn, I lost my quarter. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand why can't we all just you know fucking like you know you know you get hit in the leg and it's just you know you, you die. You know, Ethan, how was your day? Uh, it's pretty good. I got some friends. Uh. You don't have yeah, I just kidding. I just sat in my room, cried, masturbated, masturbated, and cried. That's a little Did I mention bit masturbation? <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't really do too much. I hung out with friends. I got lunch with them. Uh, I, yesterday I actually did a shit ton of stuff, but today was just more what like relax. Lunch? What was for lunch? What was for lunch? I got uh, Mexican food. What was for lunch? Oh, fuck okay. you. That's fucking showing off his action figures right. of the camera. Todd, do you want to do a live demo of your Halo Lego animations right on, on fucking Sure. Stream? I have this example. Who's that? Okay. He has a Master Chief action figure out. Now, Ty, what is Master Chief, Master Chief going to do? kind of broke him. Up, up, uh, oh, <laughs> no. Infamous Film says, I am a part of Royal <laughs> oh, Crimson no. Films, lol. So, Ty, you got your, Ty, your fucking Ty, idol in here. Ty, your biggest, the, your hero is in the chat right now. Wait. Anyways, what is your Wait, really? <laughs> His fucking face. <laughs> Ty, show us your Lego stuff. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> uh, you didn't see anything. Sorry, you're a grown fucking man getting excited about machinima directors and playing with fucking Legos. Alright, first of all, it's not a Lego. It's Ty. Mate. Dude, what is what is what is, what is the what chief gonna do? Ty, what is the chief gonna do? You've been on two. Alright, so what stop motion was, so you take your guy, and then guy. every single scene you move him just a little you bit. You know what stop so, motion is. You don't have to explain you have one to do shot. a film lesson on what stop motion two is. Shot. I'm saying like Ty, if you were to make one right now, what would it be about? What would he do? So that way uh, we can really get the full experience. <laughs> I mean got a little high there. So he saw shit. everything. Ty, you're fucking I'm fucking ruined. Come on, man. Well, We're going on don't for show an this hour, to DG Gamer so. or anyone else. Bye. Fucking linking it. Ty, this is gonna be in Times Square in New York tomorrow. <laughs> Ty, you know the, you know at, at like sporting events, like big football games, they have like a blimp where they show like no, videos and stuff. No, I don't. Because I don't over. watch sports. I'm gonna put a video of you going. Is that you? Is that John you? Kind of thing. I don't watch. Ty, it's gonna any be in the Megatron. None. It's gonna be in the star screen. <laughs> it's gonna be on the Decepticons tomorrow. Beep boop. I Voltron. Am. 
Octagon. Am I, sp am I spinning April. this wheel? Are we done with this? Yeah, sure. What the fuck? Everyone's day has been good. After this one, we're doing a life advice with Ty, because I only think we have like two more left. Life advice. Uh oh, we got we got one right off of this. This is mine. You have accidentally hired a hitman to assassinate the president. He is halfway up the White House lawn. What do you do? Is this life advice with Ty? No, no, no. No, we'll this is my topic. Oh, thank God. You accidentally hired a hitman to assassinate the president. Yeah. He's halfway up the light White House lawn. What it's do you do? You go to the White House lawn. He's about to get there. You go, whoa, whoa, whoa bro. It was a prank, bro. It was a pr social experiment. <laughs> so, man, that was pretty fucked up. I don't really like how your current generation of YouTubers think you can get away with hiring a hitman for the president and think you're funny. It's very disrespectful. I'd probably just take care of the situation. Look at the camera go and like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Don't comment. But on a more serious note, you accidentally hired a hitman to kill the president. Alright, see, there's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that would be the problem. The problem is you accidentally hired a hitman to assassinate the president. You are correct, no. that is the problem. No, let me finish. But we need SOLUTIONS! <laughs> No. Instead of fucking around, I got a banana, and the president's gonna die <laughs> soon. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Come back fucking strong. So, back to what you were saying. You accident accidentally hired a hitman. There's Correct. your problem right there. I know, How did I you understand. Call him you, if you don't you're have like a technical phone. services. Hello, my Xbox is making noises. Okay, well that's the problem right there. <laughs> Thanks. I know. You want to help me fix it, please? Right, so, see, here's the thing. You can't accidentally call someone and say, "Oh, I want to kill the president," without saying, "Ha uh, uh, ha, JK, this isn't this isn't real," or the government well, being on, able on. to trace it. Let me just quote it. you real quick. Let me just quote you real quick. Ty just said, "You can't hire a hitman without being lol JK." <laughs> Is that something you just seriously said to me? I'm pretty sure you could hire a hitman without going lol JK, whatever, bro. Like, yeah, it's like a sign of respect for them. So like, oh really? Is if it? If you go like this, that means the kill is on. That's how Spider-Man like gets his fucking webs. Ty, Ty <laughs> just, Ty just did what, like did like the rock symbol or like what Spider-Man does to shoot his web. It says this means like what? What did you say it was? Let's kill people. Yeah. This means let's kill people. Okay, well, f <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Alright, so, if you want to learn more, this means uh, the goal, the objective. That's just the rock, that's gone. the same symbol you're covering a finger. You're just holding one of your <laughs> fingers. This means the objective's <laughs> what, huh? <laughs> Alright. What does it mean the objective is? <laughs> Two fingers means the whole operation has been compromised. <laughs> You're not gonna be sitting next. If you're gonna hire someone to kill the president, you're not gonna be sitting next to them while they do it, okay? You just don't. Why are you there? There should be no hand signal for we've been compromised. If you've been compromised, you run if you're there for some reason. If you hold your thumb, it means you have to kill. Still fucking going. No one's still no. going. It's not fucking. If you go like this then everything's gone according to plan, and then money will be transferred th to the bank. <laughs> Not even a fucking joke. Of course. Ty, we got, okay, here, here, okay, we're gonna cut you off right now. We got, we got actually a fan improv scene. We got a fan improv scene. Do we? Knox the Fox says, <laughs> okay, Ow. so one night you guys come home late. You, one, one night you guys come home late one night, and as you guys enter each of your homes, you notice one of your guys' windows is left open. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Gone. <laughs> fucking. It's the only fucking way. <laughs> fucking mystery solved. Alright, I'm gonna set yeah, this up. Yeah, there you up. go. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your. Getting your question answered by Ty. I hope you sit there and you typed out the paragraph, thinking like, "Ooh, what's a really good scene for these guys to do? This is really creepy." And Ty's like, "Bill Nye the Science Guy. I got it. It's Bill Nye." <laughs> no, like you enter your house and notice all the electricity has been cut, and you're looking around the house trying to find a candle to light, and all you're hearing is Bill. Keep candles Bill. around my house. Bill, 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 
And then whoa, whoa, wait, didn't we actually have a scene in one of the earliest yeah, episodes of we, things where it was did. like Bill Nye is like we got, yeah, we got whatever, and the Bill whole thing Nye. was like Bill guy, Bill guy was like opening the door, was like Bill, <laughs> Bill. Yeah, it was the Bill. exact last Bill. episode. Bill, and he kind of he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like Bill Nye, the science yeah, guy. Was, see, so so like, what do you do in this scenario? Go watch the last episode. I don't know what the fuck you In this scenario, yeah, that's what you do. You go, oh my window's open. Better listen to myself to figure out what to do. And have them have a conversation about science and how it rules and then they'll leave is you that, alone is that the end of the question i would like to hear the question if he if we actually that was the end of the question you got you come home for one late one late night one night and your window's been left open i beat my fucking wife i told her what listen all right. Yeah, keep Keeping the air her. on is not have you been letting have you been letting strangers wander in and out of our windows at night, what if I have. What did I tell you about that? That banana's not gonna do shit. Dude, look at how shitty this banana looks like right now. It's like fucking. Yeah, it looks all brown and yeah. moldy. It is. All right. How many topics do we have left? Chemical. Can you like just count like? You have at least one, but I can't really. There's tell. two. I thought I had two more. Oh, I might not have put you one of yours in there. Bitch. All right. Um. If we have any more fan well, comments, we should read it. But if anybody uh, would like to suggest a life advice, we'll tie real right. quick. You may. Yeah. But before we start this. Uh, there is a no- Knox the Fox added to his prompt saying, As you guys go to close the window, there is an old lady there running at you guys with a knife. What do you do? And she looks like the old hag from Drag Me to Hell. Uh-oh, and then Tom Winham's inquiring about... Windom. Something else, but... Windham, Windham, I'm sorry. I love Wind-tam. you. Windham. Todd, don't it's give Wind-tam. a fuck. Windham. It sounds funner Anyways. and cooler. Well, Andrew's question. Uh, so is, all right, Ty, yeah, you go first. How are you? What are you going to do? All right, so we're all sitting there, Ty. I mean, you're, I guess I would take Bill Nye, the science guy, who's okay. already there, all right. and chuck him at the lady and talk to her about uh, black hole theory wads. And then... Black hole theory wads? Yeah. That's a scientific term. <laughs> what? Black no hole theory it, wads. It's not for the simple mind. Oh, of course. Chemical is right. Oh, I know. Who He's right. To- Personally, to-, to answer Tom Windham- Windham's question of Grandma's House 3. Um, just wait. Is that a question? Yeah, j- just wait. Like, what about him? That, that's... Just wait. It's going to be a while because there's so many other things coming there up. Is. But wait, eventually. Uh, there is. Right. Yeah, it's a thing. All right. I, I spun... All right, listen. I spun the wheel and I got on the topic, the last topic that's here. But yeah, we'll talk about that last. Tell topic. us about a prompt people, for people. Oh, by the way, I still chemicals been here or some in the shit. chat. I'd probably make the old lady trip or whatever slip. Fucking die on impact. Yeah, banana. That hurts. Anyways, um, everyone down there, think of a prompt for life advice for Ty. Something you want to give Ty, get Ty's advice on. That's me. Some sort of life advice. People think of it. In the meantime, final topic, more gaming shit, E3. Oh, I had one more. E3 predictions. After this. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we had yours, so we'll do that one after cool. that. Um, E3. Me and Ethan have the same. We have, we have a similar prediction, prediction, or I guess hope, not really a prediction, because it probably won't happen. Well, I'm predicting it. I'm I'll predicting it. I'll be willing it. to predict it, but I don't think it's going to happen. I, I want it to. I'm going to be a psychic. I want to hear you. Yeah, you guys go first. I'll talk uh, seriously this time. I mean the. Let me let me just. We already know everything that's kind of coming out. Hold on. But... It starts with an L, and it ends with an F for Dead Three. Lego Star Wars. If you yeah, can't you tell it. what I'm talking about, it's Lego Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Lego Star Wars is the next installment of the Lego video game series. This one introducing Star Wars characters such as Ray. Ray Charles. And lightsabers. <laughs> That's about it. Anyways, Left 4 Dead 3. I really like Left 4 Dead 2. It's backwards compatible. We've been playing it a bunch. Left 4 Dead 2 is great. I want Left 4 Dead 3. There's been screenshots of it already, and they need to just put a trailer out of it. Basically, damn, here's the thing. Oh, I, there are a couple games coming out this year that are going to be pretty cool. Uh, but as, for, as far as surprises go at E3, I think if that was a thing, uh, that, was, that would be my most anticipated game coming out if they announced that. Like, how you play Left 4 Dead 2? What do you think about it? If, if Left 4 Dead 3 came out, would you be willing to get it? I... 
What answer will like not disappoint you? He only played like a game of it, and it was not very good. He played. A, also, Ethan quit out of it. He's played through two campaigns. You guys are being assholes. No, uh, Isaiah uh, was being an asshole. You guys were all being assholes. But yeah, Isaiah oh, in particular okay. was being the let's biggest not, asshole. Hey, I was trying. Uh, let's not open this can of worms right now. Anyways, um. No, Ty's played two campaigns show. prior to the one that we played the other night. I'm gonna. They're gonna show off Halo Wars 2 and they're gonna announce a teaser trailer for the next Halo game after that. And then that's and they're gonna be Call of Duty and it's gonna be bullshit. They're gonna show off Battlefield 1. I don't know if too many other predictions, but it's gonna be good. Dude, I, I, I brought this up too earlier. I'm, oh, oh, oh shit. I actually have a th uh, story I wanna tell you because I was gonna do it for the podcast. I forgot to do it. I was fucking watching TV with my mom and I don't know exactly what I was watching. I was watching some fucking show and uh, fucking Kenan Thompson comes on the show and he, he comes walking in. Is that the guy from Good yeah. Burger? Yeah, he's on SNL now, and so Keenan greatest movie Keenan of all Thompson time comes in. Good Burger and, my mom goes, and uh, Kangaroo Jack. My mom goes, he's the guy who got hit by the truck, right? And I'm, I look at her for a second, I go, that's Tracy Morgan, mom. Tracy like, Morgan. You're just thinking of some other black guy. <laughs> it turns out everyone in my family just does not know any. Like they're all just like. <laughs> Did you tell the thing about the Django uh, story on the, I on can. the show? I don't think I have. Well, it's ju you should. just in brief. Right, number one, uh, a couple years ago, a little movie called Django Unchained came out, and, uh, no, and it fucking, my mom and I were going to go see it, and it, it was actually, I've never seen any Quentin Tarantino movie prior to this, and the whole reason I was going to go see it because I'm a big Leonardo DiCaprio fan. Uh, I didn't know too much about Quentin Tarantino at the time, I just figured it was a slave movie that looked kind of cool, uh, so I didn't really know anything about him, but then... Uh, <laughs> Then my mom had seen. You know, you know me. I like slaves and I like movies, <laughs> so I was like, "This is the perfect one for me." You well, know, well, it has everything well, I love. It has slavery and it has film. Well, well, my mom has seen. You know, most of she saw Pulp Fiction, A Reservoir Dog, Kill Bill. So she she knows what Quentin Tarantino's like. Uh, and so my grandma says she was actually interested in seeing the movie. That's because she probably thought the same thing. She was like, "Oh, yeah, I love slaves." So you know, she was gonna. She wanted to go see it. What? <laughs> I'm into that sort of thing. And what? so my grandma wanted to go see it. Uh, and so first up, my mom, I was like, are you sure about that? You my mom was like, yeah, yeah, yeah go see it, it which well. was a bad idea. But uh, oh my God. fucking, she says at one point, she's like, oh, you that Django movie? She's like, that's the one starring uh, Eddie Murphy, right? And I'm like, oh excuse my God. me? Yeah, she thought Jamie Foxx was Eddie Murphy, and then she said... And she thought it was like Will Smith She thought it was Will Smith, too? which actually was supposed to be in the movie in her defense, but, you know... Uh, There's no defense on this. No, but she basically named every black actor except for the black actor that was supposed to be there. So Tyler Perry. In her defense, Jamie Foxx is also a musician. So. Apparently, all I of mean, uh, apparently that. all of my Tyler family Perry. just cannot. They 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 are the living. Uh, they are the living essence of just tonight. all black people look the same. Like they they that's exactly apparently what they all think. All right, so. Does anyone have anything to add before E3? Before he I look life forward to finding out about Pokemon, along with Isaiah. We are both very excited for that. Oh, I was gonna say you find out about Isaiah at E3. Well, he has his own panel. Hello. I'm, Does he? I don't have any games. I mean, I, I actually, don't believe you. Also, your video went games off again. Games I'm interested touch. in. Fucking. I mean, I'm probably gonna get Halo Wars two. I'm probably gonna get Battlefield one. Uh, the one fucking Friday the Thirteenth game actually looks not that it's bad. I don't know if I'll get it, but it doesn't look that bad. Uh, fucking Crackdown Three, that looks cool. Never heard of it. Crackdown One and Two I didn't really like, but Crackdown Three, fucking that's destructible environment looks fucking awesome. Never heard of it. Tell your video still off. Like any no, of that? It's... You didn't hear any of those words before? It's on. Uh. Not on my yeah, screen. Videos on right Bullshit. Now. Not for me. Okay. Anyways. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was, what was that, huh? What do you mean? You think this is some sort of joke? <laughs> what do this you is mean? funny, huh? This is a serious show, Ty. I mean, what did you want from me? <laughs> that's not good. Ha ha ha. I don't know, maybe to fix it, but anyways, Ty, there was a there are multiple suggestions. I in the chat I like right the now. first one. Uh, you read it off. You read them do at uh, you can do one or you can do two. I, like I want to do, but you get to pick. I like to hear the options. Um, you get to pick which life advice prompt you want. There's actually a good way to do it, too. 
So Ty, you pick. You read out at loud which life advice prompt you're gonna do. Right. Well, I still I can't see your all? video, but Fuck whatever, you. it'll it'll be okay. We should say them all for the people listening as well as me. Oh, your video's back. Anyways, <laughs> oh no, it's not. No. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Okay. Anyways, um, all right, read it off. Go. This is life advice with Ty. The question is, if you had three wishes, what would you do? I wait. What would it be? My bad. All right. Life what advice. The with Ty. I want to know the others. Should I? I'll read the others. All right. Um, the others are getting close to the end of a game, but never finished. Don't have a T con console anymore. How to cope with the never killing last boss. Oh yeah, yeah. go with that one. And the others, uh, what <laughs> would you guys do you know, if a gorilla descended from the heavens in a Jesus Christ pose and robe with a huge ass bulge? I like that one uh, a lot. I'd ask if he was pregnant. Honestly, fucking. I think the wrong kind of bulge, but <laughs> fucking whatever. advice. Anyways, uh, Ty, do your fucking wishes. All right, so life advice with Ty: th three wishes. So, assuming that you got the three wishes from a genie, my first wish would be it for a cage. That cage would put be, we would contain the genie in the cage, so that it could never get fucking out. Made of gas and shit. <laughs> And then, second wish... I think the lamp's would... a pretty good cage for that one, Ty. <laughs> yeah, the no, lamp's no. like the only thing that can really contain a genie. You have to hear me out. Okay. So, after three wishes, a genie retreats to the lamp, and uh, that's it for you. Uh, you can transfer yeah, it to another person, but that's it. You can't do anything with it anymore. So, and you also can't wish for more wishes. That's just... Magic 101.5. I learned it in magic school. <laughs> Basically. So. Part of the West Virginia education system, right? You put the genie in a cage. Bad on how to get away from fucking Magic alligators. 101. And then, for a second wish, you wish the genie to summon more genies. Now, those gen genies, they appear with their lamps. They're like Shit, kind I of think, cops. I think Ty just found genies. a loophole in the system. <laughs> They're like wishes, genie I cops. More fucking genies. When they try to rescue the genie, the the electricity of the prison just shocks them, and I have to quickly grab their lamps and summon a cage for them as well. So now you have the mafia uh, genies trapped. You have the police. The mafia <laughs> genies. Hold on, back up. What? The mafia the genies. Man out. Well, assuming when did this come in. Well, assuming this is an ongoing cycle. It's not. Well, oh, alright, fine. So one. first you did it to the original genie. Then you do it to the police genies. And then <laughs> the you police get them... genies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the police genies. Oh, the police. Wait, what? I... The just genies just you thing. summoned from the first original genie to save the first genie. Oh, it really smells like bananas in here. They try to protect the genie. They fail. You capture them. Then you go on to the mafia. And then the citizens. And then eventually he gets to the mayor. You trap the mayor. And now you have all the genies in the world. So you have infinite wishes. And you get one wish from each person. Or two. One or two. Depends on the case. Ty, this is all good and all. But there's a one. You need to address one big elephant in the room. Okay. A gorilla has just descended in a Jesus-like <laughs> pose with a giant-ass bulge. I'm still wondering about one of the other two wishes, because he's like, you have unlimited wishes, but you, st you still only made one wish during that. Well, all right, fine. So, well, one wish to, was to trap all the genies, and so now they're, like, slaves forever. Second, I guess... Still on slaves, that works. ...would be... To Ty Tyler Osbino <laughs> denies Holocaust, loves slavery. <laughs> La -di -da. My second would be to set up like an antique store, because now I have all these lamps. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not a bad idea when you think about and it. I will sell the like genie that. to you. That's actually a pretty good set. idea with this. This has been a surprisingly clever life advice with Ty. Like he found the loophole of you can't get any more wishes. Fucking give me some more genies then. <laughs> And now it's starting an antique store. Ty's got it all figured out. I think Ty has been visited by genies before. And I think Ty has had years of experience dealing with genies. 
Well, that's two wishes. Well, dude, he knows about the police genies, the mafia He's... genies. Well, yeah. Here's the last wish, though. It's the most crucial yeah, one. Duh. Extremely flamboyant. <laughs> the last yeah. wish. Duh. Right. Duh. Whatever. The last wish is to wipe everyone's mind who bought bought a lamp. That way, because Unless now you have forget all the money they have in the a world, lamp. basically. You can buy back the lamps thinking, they'll think, oh, it's just a lamp. What, what use do I have for this? So you bring them back to the antique store, and now you can just make the profits all over again. And the cycle just continues on and on. So theoretically, you, you're Ty, why never. Just, why didn't you just ask for unlimited money? Yeah, why didn't you just ask for but more money? Like you could have. It just seems done like that. he's never getting but money because as soon because as he buys, he just buys them back from people. That's not with the well, money you, he gained. No, you buy them back for like a dollar each. <laughs> why would they want to sell it? <laughs> because you, they've had their minds wiped, so they don't know if they're magical. What the fuck ever? Uh, <laughs> Ty, did you want to do your last topic, or did you want to move on? I mean, I'll do my last topic. Uh, hold on, there's one question I want to read. Who would win in a fight, guys? The Terminator or Tito from Rocket Power? I don't know what Rocket Power is. I don't Power know is. what Rocket, Rocket Power is. Rocket Power is the skateboarding show, right? It's that one cartoon. Who? That, it's that one cartoon on Nick or whatever where they... Oh, it's the surfing show, I think. Hold on, I'm looking this up. I don't, we don't need we don't have time. We're already Tito is the surf guy, dude. I got it right. I know what I'm talking about. I know my fucking rocket power. It's I'm gonna be looking, Tito. By oh, the way. that guy, the Terminator. Nah, Tito wins. <laughs> I don't get it. How? Uh, my God. Okay, Ty. What was your last topic? All right, fine. I have to pull up my topic. Whip that topic out, baby. I will. Fucking. Flop your topic no, on the table. Topic. Oh, I never Second sent it topic. to you, I think. No, I did. Oh, this topic's fucking right. huge. No Larry King. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I don't know. Wait, I think I might have put and that one Leonardo in. And Leonardo Da Vinci. Kiss, kill, Mary. Well. Let's <laughs> fuck, Mary, kill, but... Oh. Yeah, I know. Ty, Ty, Ty's too... He's a little too, um... How should I put this? Like I spelled Mary. I don't want to say shy, a. but a little too brash about the whole thing. Um, listen, Larry King is gonna die any day, any, uh, anyhow. Kill him. Like he's a good guy and all, but you know, don't want to be dealing with him forever. Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, he's well. I y'all know about Leonardo DiCaprio. You fucker, kiss that guy, right? Like that's that's not really a question, right? I'm gonna kiss the shit out of him, wherever he wants to. All right. Kiss the shit out of him. And so you know you'd marry Leonardo da Vinci. Why? So... He's a skeleton then, though. Well, that. Well, here's here's mine. Here's mine. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck Leonardo da Vinci because I'm a necrophiliac. I'm gonna marry Leonardo DiCaprio. Larry because David. He's the epitome what? Of man, and I'm also gonna kill Larry David. God damn. All right, I'm gonna switch or this Larry up. Larry King. Sorry, Larry King. I'm fucking. I will marry Larry King. Oh, because he will die. It's like a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode where he just dies. Leonardo DiCaprio. Because once he's seen how much of a good time he can have, then he'll come back. And then I will kill Leonardo da Vinci. Again. Yeah. Twice in one because, week. Alright, okay. so because you'd have to become a Ghostbuster. Find his soul around. Oh, oh my God! Wait, hold on. Your first thought, yeah. So you, you want to do this dead guy? And you're like, okay. First thought, first thing I'm gonna of do. Of course. Be a Ghostbuster. All right. That's <laughs> what. Ty, you one of the female Ghostbusters? Are you the? Are you the OG <laughs> Ghostbuster? I'm dude? the Bill Murray Ghostbuster. You know, yeah, you wouldn't be the Bill Murray Who's Ghostbuster. Shut up. Hey guys, I'm Bill Murray. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. God damn. <laughs> Some fucking got oh Bill Murray's God. agent Bill or Murray something because he just walked <laughs> right over the studio. Oh, shit, I'm Hi, sorry. I'm Bill Murray. Duh, I'm duh, 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 duh. <laughs> oh, Tyler's gotten too far in the ghost busting stuff. They're coming out for vengeance. They're fucking knocking him out of his chair. And stuff. Get up. Get up. We don't have time for this, Ty. <laughs> Ow. He fell down again. 
All right. Are we wrapping this up? Yeah. So, this is episode 10. For two years, uh, 10 episodes. Yeah. Not even one month. This is all your bad. fault, Chemical. That's bad. Yeah, episode yeah, buddy. 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. It's been, a, it's so, been a long way. Catch us at the Velveeta Room, June 29th, 9 o'clock. Uh, um, Austin, Texas. Yeah. We will be uh, our really? next our next yeah. podcast. Great will be, Isaiah uh, is going to be from there. RTX from Austin. Twitter. So uh, listen, I you never can, you can find Twitter. us all on on the Twitters and stuff. Yeah. You can fucking message your uh, questions to us. He doesn't use Twitter, but uh, just uh, comment your fucking. Qu- I don't give a like, fuck. Like comment, got questions? Us. Feel free to do ask them. We'll probably do better like. at announcing we'll it beforehand. Will that be live? Um, I would like to do it live. The only problem uh, we would have with it would be. Um, hold on, I'm putting my Twitter thing up here. The only problem we would have with it would be, uh, like, with the audio stuff, because I want to have two microphones, right? Yeah. So there might, there might be a problem, like, putting that together and getting it all, like, yeah. you know, in the one stream. If we can figure that out, though, definitely. Internet's not going to be a problem. I could do everything from this fucking thing. All right, well, it might be live. If not, the episode will be out at some point. Uh, this episode will maybe be out later uh, they, this week. Um, they commented, uh, be watching it live, will you guys be yeah. posting this on so if you wanna, the channel? Because uh, this is great. Thank you. Okay, this is going to be on, unless, well, I might put it on, on something else, I don't know, probably. but this is going to be on iTunes, Stitcher, iTunes. and we have a website for this, okay? I thought there um, was, video- like, some podcast app. Is that iTunes? Yeah, that's iTunes. Oh wow! Didn't even know. This is Stitcher this thing is on Stitcher. iTunes. It's on Stitcher, and we have iTunes a website also. for it. Yeah. You can find the audio in those three places. As for the video, it's going to be on unlisted on the streams thing, unless I decide to put it on Simic So yeah. it will sound better because we got if better you microphones to the here. Version, yeah. It'll be a little more. It will sound a little yeah. better. Yeah. This is the unfiltered uh, version. It'll be it'll be edited a bit, so there yep. should be. Uh, so, there might be some ads. Sub exam show. Gotta love it. Or hate it. Gotta love it. Or hate it. You can still hate it. Gotta, no, we won't gotta love it. That. We, that's gotta love perfectly it. reasonable, actually. I, I love it. You gotta love it. Honestly, I June hate 29th. it. June 29th. Shit's going up. Okay. Bye? Oh, shit. Uh, bye.